fellow pioneers were hanging out here at Chick-fil-A. We took a while. We got a $7.75, three and a half mile order. It's not a good one, but we're desperate. There's Isaac. Look at Isaac. You better hurry up. Get that food to the customer. Yeah. <laughs> Got it, awesome. You're the best. I'll confirm for you. Thank you. That's cool. All right, you guys, we got lucky. We, uh, they didn't call it. We waited for it as long as we could, and we had to just go up there and get it, and it was ready, of course. What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve, and you're watching ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy, videos about high-powered scooters. You can tell I'm out here working on a DoorDash shift. I'm out here on my eMove Roadrunner Pro. This is a super fun scooter to be working on. Don't forget, if you like this scooter or any other scooter you see on my channel, use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy at Vora Motors. Basically, any e-move or Cabo product gets you $50 off. Really goes a long way in supporting the channel. Without those codes, I don't really make hardly any money. I started this as a passion project a long time ago, and now I'm doing this full time. I try to put out five to seven videos a week, and look what I got to deal with. Thanks for joining me, guys. Please like the channel, subscribe, leave a comment, set your notification for the live stream. I promise I will hit that. We're going three miles. We're going deep for 775, but I don't mind. It's a beautiful day to be out here. I made another modification to my scooter. My front brakes were blown. I put in some regular cheapies initially, but now I have some, what are called four piston zoom calipers. They're freaking amazing. Much grippier. I'm gonna put them on the rear as well. But right now the rears are working fine as they are. So now I put only $200 into modifications on this scooter. $100 rear shocks, gigantic improvement, and $100 front and rear brakes. I'm only using the front right now. But man, this scooter has got everything now. It's perfectly dialed in. All it really needs is a little more battery. I need a range extender. Hey fellow pioneers, this video is partially sponsored by me. Do you need mechanical or maintenance work done on your personal electric vehicle? You have two choices as far as I know. You can go to my mechanic, Ryan, who is in Inglewood. His email is in the description of every single video I've posted the last couple of years. He works on everything from simple to advanced. If you need tire or brake work and you want to hang out with me in Hollywood, I'm also making myself available for tire and brake work. Just contact me through my social media. All the information is in the description. I'm looking forward to working with you. Back to the episode. Unfortunately, we know exactly where we're going. Uh, we got lost in this building last time we were here. Hopefully uh, that experience will help this experience. They're really trying to screw us with this traffic. What are you doing, buddy? Where do you think you're going? Only I can fit on the inside of the cones. All right, we're making a left actually at Ogden, which is coming up. How you doing, man? Listen, I know I've been here before, but I did get I did get turned around last time, so let me pay attention to you better. I'm going to 6280. I know there's it's a fourth building, right? So, hold on a second. I say that again. Oh, it is. But I have to. Oh, I do enter behind Ross for this one. I have the code too. Okay, this is going to be easier than that one. Okay, perfect. Behind Ross. I know where that is. I know what you're talking about. I got you. I got you. I got lost on 6240 last time. But I think now we're going to be good on 6280. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you. All right, guys. So, okay. So, at least we don't have to go into the garage. The entrance to this is like, whoa, like way, like, it's, I do have to make a left up here on Ogden, like the satin I was trying to get me to do. Okay, I believe we figured it out. This does look like the same type of uh, passcode. Let's just see if it works. It's a six-digit code, man. worked all right so we know we're in the right spot because the code is good i definitely don't like garages but we're going into this one don't think this should be so terrible hopefully this is just an elevator we're, we're in the right building now so we just need to get an elevator up i don't think we need to get through any codes or anything at this point we already coded our way in so where's the elevator oh no i have a feeling that Oh yeah, this is like the multi-purpose code and the elevator is right here. Okay, cool. Hopefully we can, we can find our way out of here easily. 
I think we did pretty good. So we're going to the second floor now. Man, this is a far order on another fucking keypad. Well, at least it worked. I think it worked, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is, you know when you've got like three keypads to get in and everything and you're asking for directions, we're putting in a lot of labor on this for $7.75. But again, mostly about testing the Roadrunner Pro, we're having fun on it. Taking the little motorcycle into the building. Let's go to 211. I can't believe the way out of here, we gotta code everything as well. Oh my God, thank God we got the fucking scooter. Yeah, you gotta figure it's 775 for three and a half miles. That's like the base pay. Uh, no tipper on that one for sure. Do sorry, donut tipper, donut tipper. All right, let's scoot our fat ass out of here. You should go slower in these hallways, but I'm getting that feeling of frustration from like, we're just in the worst fucking spot right now. I think I just closed that door behind me by banging into it. Where the fuck are the elevators? Let's go. Now I'm in another situation where I don't know if I can get out of the building from where we're at. So I'm gonna ask this woman right here. Hello, can I get to the street from here? Um, yeah, you just go around. Okay, thank you. Okay, we got that. Even though we got a code, somebody opened the gate. So we're sliding right out of here. Now we got the long ride back. I was just about to pull up to the Target Center and we got an order we're definitely taking. Eight and a quarter, 2.4 miles, California chicken, we like that. This place is very good, but we did get here really quickly so they might not, they might not, might not be ready right away, but that's okay, we're just gonna hang out right here. Thank you, we'll see you next time, California chicken. All right guys, we did just walk up and get it, very nice. 1.7 miles to DeLong Prey. No big deal. Again, another beautiful day to be out here partying with the food delivery business. Apparently this is like a first floor drop off. I'm not super familiar with this spot though, that is for sure. Where's the entrance? Is this here right here, I guess? This is a McDonald's, what the fuck? What the hell? 63, because I know the Jardine is right there and it's 6390, right? That's 6390, so 6381. Maybe it's on the other corner. Come out, I never would have found that. Oh, now I see that number. Look at that horrible lettering. The architect must have been blind. It's okay, we got you, we got you. It's okay, we got you, we got you. I know it's close, so I'll go outside. Yeah, you definitely saved the day. I thought maybe you were on the other corner. Okay, thank you, enjoy. Thank you, You're the best. Nice little three dollar tip on that easy order. Yeah, customers come outside. It definitely helps. I was definitely uh, lost for a second there. She was cool too. She seemed very excited about having her food ready. We didn't get far. We didn't get a couple feet. We got a looks like a Proposition 22, 350 for point A for McDonald's. Let's do it. That's the McDonald's on Hollywood Boulevard. Where are we going? No, on Vine. Okay, we know this one. I, I believe we're, uh, we're just gonna pull into this McDonald's. There's a nice kind of a long ass ramp here. Yeah, I think we're just best off just bringing it in. I don't wanna tie, I have to tie up out here. Oh no, what does this sign say? Oh, they're closing at 11 p.m., who cares? Zero nine five, confirm. Alrighty guys, we got the McDonald's order, it's easy. Should be pretty easy. I don't know the name of the street, but we're only going like 0.6 miles. I hate this water, I hate water. Traffic everywhere, all day, welcome to LA. Lousy order, but I think it should be a easy drop off. I think the customer is gonna be outside. What are we looking for? One, four, two, three. Oh, we got a little further. This is a handed to me order. I hear they're like having a party in there. I also hear a dog. 
Hey, I got a McDonald's for one, four, two, three for Jocelyn. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Okay, cool. Hey, McDonald's for Jocelyn. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good party, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, should I tell all her friends that she didn't tip anything? Should I tell all her friends she doesn't tip? I wonder what this job is gonna be like if I did, when I simply decide it's time to quit. Like I've, I've started and left many jobs in my life. I know this will eventually end. I assume I will quit and never get fired. Imagine if I decided to do deliveries as if I didn't care about what happened. So like if I dropped off that food to the customer and I said to her, oh, look, have a nice party. And so by the way, while you're here in front of all your friends, let me just tell everybody how you don't tip your DoorDash drivers. Look at that, zero tip. I mean, imagine doing that to somebody. That would be like, like I guess it's like a prank, but not cool at all, obviously, it'd be insane. I would never do that, but imagine if I was getting ready to quit. That's what the channel would be until they fired me. I'm driving the scooter in second gear as much as possible. That's like low 20 mile per hour range, it sucks. I'm just trying to squeeze out as much range as I can get. Usually I do 15 mile shifts on this scooter knowing that it's got like a pretty good 20 mile battery at like mid 30s, high 30s. I can get more range if I drive slower, it's just brutal. All right, we're back to Chick-fil-A. I'm hungry, I feel like I could order food, but we're gonna sit for sure. We got an order from Fat Sal's, it's like $7.75, like 2.4 miles. We're going sort of uh, deep into the hills with it. We're happy to have an order, it's been a little bit slow. All right, we are here with our friends. Alrighty, let's see if we can get lucky. Justin G. How you doing, man? I got Justin G. Awesome, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Alrighty, nice easy walk in and get it. And now we gotta go deep into the hills. Scenic Avenue, never heard of that. I like Fat Sal's orders, because even if they have drinks, they're like in bottles. Or cans, and their subs are really easy to pack and deliver here. Let's fucking go, kids. At least we're finally here because this was a giant fucking ride up this hill. I'll make a left and then it's gonna be on the right somewhere. What's the number though? 6209, a little further, right? Yeah, it's gonna be up here a little bit on the right. Of course, this is one of these fucking impossible to find spots. And now we're parked on this crazy hill too. Fuck. Perfect. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, buddy, here you go. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. All right, we got that done. $2.75 tip on that. A $7.75 payout. We still got range for more deliveries. That was a tricky little spot, but just like the previous customer, customer came out that helped a lot all right now we're all the way up here on gower and we gotta go all the way down this hill at least it won't take much battery we're definitely benefiting from driving around in second mode we're definitely not taking this order it's too far because we we've driven 15 miles and we still have a decent amount of battery left so usually at 15 miles on the road runner i call it a day i think we're going to bring it more to 18 miles so let's get one more order at 22 miles an hour Looks like we're gonna do one more sit down and wait at Chick-fil-A. Can you see it in the shade? One hour, 59 minutes, 15.96 miles, 16 miles. So one more order, DoorDash, let's go. They tried to give us this order, but it's 3.7 miles. We're not going that far. This is a good finisher with lousy payout from Fat Sal's. We're taking it 1.8 miles, four bucks, let's go. I usually tell you earlier in the episode, but there's always new people here. Let me just tell you, why do I take lousy orders? 
just because I get paid simply for making the video, it's as simple as that. Not a lot. From YouTube, I'll probably make like 25 or 30 bucks just from the video. And you know, imagine that, add that to the shift. So that's like $15 an hour for a two hour shift added right there. And also if you use my bonus code, I make some money. And every time I post videos, it increases the chances of me, somebody using my bonus code. So don't model your business after me. I have a real special little niche going on here, especially since I've gotten all my scooters for free for quite a few years at this point. I'm super, super lucky. But anyhow, we gotta go to Fat Sal's and do this shitty order. It's becoming our new home away from home. This place has had a pretty good track record since we've been coming here. We haven't had to wait for a long time. Gotta be careful of the copyright strikes though. Well, all right, we'll see you next time, thank you. All right, it's good. They're definitely starting to like recognize me here. They're calling me boss. Oh God, we're going all the way to five something La, La Mirada this is far. I think I ate at Fat Sal's twice. Like I ate there the first time because here it's like, oh, it's a novelty. They basically put all the appetizers on the sandwich. Like if you want French fries, onion rings, you got to order them like separate. I mean, it doesn't make any sense, but they make these sandwiches with French fries and onion rings and you can't ask them to take them off and give them to you separate. I don't know why. It's just like their style there. I don't know why the fuck I went this way. I ate there once, like just to try because you got to try it. And then when I went there, when I went there like the second time, I realized like, oh, this fucking sucks. This is terrible. I don't like this shit. So I don't really eat fat sows. I didn't know there was somebody behind me right there. That was stupid. All right, 5727. We should be right on top of it. I'm happy this shift is over. I'm tired. Sitting actually stresses me more than standing, believe it or not. I like the standing scooter. I can do more distance and time. What is everybody doing here? What is wrong with these fucking people? Why the fuck? All right, 57, 57. We're looking for 27, right? Yeah, we're right up here. Hopefully this will be an easy one. Hi, it's your DoorDash. Um, I'm here in the lobby. I don't have an apartment number for you. Oh, I'm actually uh, outside. Okay, well, I'm a, I just pulled into the lobby. I must have missed you. Did you see me on the scooter? Well, here he is. How you doing, ma'am? Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, that's great. Yeah, man, we're having, having fun on this thing. It's great to do deliveries on. Little fat sales, right? All right, man, thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You too, friend. Friends, we had a really lousy shift dollar-wise. We did like 35 bucks in two hours, 20 minutes. We've already done 17.73 miles. I'm gonna have to crawl home slowly so we don't run out of battery. So let me get home first and then I'll give you guys an official sign out. Fellow Pioneers, we are done. That's an official 20 miles on the Roadrunner. That's actually the most mileage I've ever put on this scooter on one charge. Hey, if you drive even slower, you can probably get more. I was mostly in second gear, a little bit in third gear like I am now. Guys, thank you for supporting the channel. Thanks for hanging out with me. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave comments, ask questions. Use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy, link in description for any e-move or Cabo product. Thanks again for your support, and you know I will see you tomorrow.